Hello everyone, I'm Astagigfo, and today I'm going to show you three druid decks for your Ashes of Outland experience. This is the second in a series of ten videos showing three decks for each class, one budget, one moderately expensive, and one very expensive deck. I tried to make each deck unique, fun, and competitive. Now, without further ado, let's get into today's first deck. The first deck I'm going to be talking about today, and the budget deck for this set, is my version of Token Druid. Now this deck uses small tokens like the squirrels from Acorn Bearer, Dreamway Guardians, Rising Winds, Bees, and tons of Treants to flood the board with lots of surprisingly sticky minions that will eventually overwhelm your opponent after tons and tons of reload and go for the kill. This version of the deck is more spell oriented, so that enables things like Garden Gnome, Steel Beetle, and Glowfly Swarm. This enables Fungal Fortunes to get the most value out of it. This deck is derivative from the Treant Druid list that was very dominant in the uh, Galakrond's Awakening meta. This deck has potential. This deck can and probably will see success. This deck can see reasonable upgrades in Goro the Maitri and Crystal Song Portal. Even without legendaries, I think this deck can take on the best of them, with the only epics being Glowfly Swarm and Force of Nature. The second deck I made for Druid is an Embiggen Druid. Now, we all know how annoying Embiggen Druid was in Galakrond's Awakening. And I think with new tools such as Germination and Marsh Hydra, this deck will be as fearsome as ever. If you don't know, what this deck is trying to do is pump up its, its minions with Embiggen and cheat them out with Strength and Numbers. It simultaneously brings out tremendous value in the early game and threatens the board mid-game mid with threats that should be out late game and they're buffed by Embiggen, one or two Embiggens. When it gets to two Embiggens, it really is too much for the opponent to handle in most cases. This deck does contain two legendaries in Frizz Kindle Roost and Archbore Meshiffin, but if you're not feeling up to crafting either of these, I think Archbore Meshiffin is the more replaceable one. This card, not having this card isn't the end of the world. This deck saw tons of success before, and adding better tools to it will only elevate its success. The last deck I made for Druid is a Ramp Druid. Now this, this deck is sort of derivative of the Abigan Druid list I made before this one, but instead of focusing on pure tempo, it, does, it instead decides to focus more on ramp and value, and it has way more heavy hitters than Abigan Druid does. Adding in Scrapyard Colossus, Ysera Unleashed, Alex Straza, Twin Tyrant, Siamat, Evasive Draconid. All of these cards are huge heavy hitters that can change the course of the game. In my opinion, Embiggen Druid paved the way for this Ramp Druid, with Overgrowth changing the game entirely. This deck also has one unique entry that I put in, that's Imprisoned Seder. I don't think many people will put this card into their decks at first, but I think this card can make the cut even though it's a bad hit off of strength and numbers. I think this can make the cut because it, if it hits a minion other than itself or uh, Mischiffen maybe, it's like a mini Dream Petal Florist that you only pay 3 mana for. You invest time for mana, and I think that trade is completely worth it. Now, this deck has a lot of legendary minions, so if you want to build this deck but don't have all the components, um, I would suggest replacing either Siamat or Alexstrasza, because they're not the best off of Strength and Numbers. That's the key synergy of this deck, is Strength and Numbers pulling out big card after big card. Alexstrasza and Siamat are just base stat minions when they're pulled out of that card. I would say look out for any of these decks, but I'm most scared of this one. This one looks like Embiggen Druid 
on steroids. I say look out for this one. And that's going to wrap up my showcase of these decks. If you have any suggestions or ideas, feel free to put them in the comments section below. I would love if this turned into a collaborative effort to build the best decks for the expansion. The deck codes for the decks I made are in the description, so feel free to use them in whatever way you want. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.